everyone thinks that living in Thailand and living in Phuket is a dream come true. That everything is so simple, so easy, nothing is a bother. You are a wealthy person moving there from, let's say, USA or UK or Canada. But let me tell you, in this episode, I'll give you the reasons why you shouldn't move to Thailand and what challenges you will face living there. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. People think that they're gonna survive on $500 a month in Thailand. Uh, look, uh, let me disappoint you, it ain't gonna happen. Um, especially if you are in Phuket, which is one of the most famous tourist destination in Thailand, probably Pattaya as well, it, it'll, it'll cost you a lot more than $500 per month. If you're a guy and you're gonna get a lot of attention from Thai women, uh, Thai ladies like wealthy Western men, so you're gonna get milk. <laughs> so get ready for this, boys. Um, this also applies to women. You know, girls, if you think that your online job that generates you, right, let me cross the road, generates you $500 or pounds a month, also, uh, you know, not gonna be enough. During consultations, I get asked a lot of questions um, regarding employment in Thailand. And guys, I mean, I'm gonna tell you the general practice, okay? Things are different. And things are different in Bangkok, in Phuket. I'm gonna tell you about Phuket, what is common, um, because that's where I lived for a year and a half, kinda of know what I'm talking about, I have a lot of connection. And by the way, I'll tell you later how to book a consultation if you require one. So anyway, most employment contracts are six days. So do you wanna work six days? So you're basically escaping in the rat race from where you are, because that's the, the reasons most people wanna move to Thailand based on my research and the people that I talk to during my consultation, they just all hate their life and they're escaping to try to find something better. So let me tell you, in Thailand, the contracts are six days a week. <laughs> and the hours, I mean, eight hours, 10 hours, 10 hour day. Salaries, I'm gonna tell you in baht, because I don't know where you're watching me from. So pop a conversion on your next screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But average salary would start from about 27,000 baht. If you have, you know, and, to add to that, some organization will uh, provide you the work permit, um, you know, the visa, the working visa, but some, you would need to do it yourself. That's another 80,000 baht a year, plus the extension, plus everything else. What's going on? Oh, sorry, I thought somebody's kicking off. Anyway, I'm in Latvia, by the way. Hence the background does not have palm trees. And I'm wearing this, <laughs> do my steps now. So yeah, working in Thailand, yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Personally, would not recommend. So you're thinking now, okay, what's, what's, what's the solution then? The solution is you need to work online. You need to get a job, either US-based, Canada-based, you know, I don't know, Switzerland, UK, where the salaries are, uh, you know, above the minimum wage. You know, I don't know, we're talking 15, 20 um, dollars an hour. And that, what would be a, the best option for you? Consultation, guys. If you need a consultation where I can help you to make the best decisions, cut corners, uh, find solutions in the most efficient way, because I've already done that. So, um, you know, I know how local people work okay and what is the best approach to use with them thai people do not like pressure you know um they don't like it as soon as you pressurize them that's it you ain't gonna hear from them again plus plus <laughs> they not uh, they don't like punctuality i'm an absolutely freak uh, when it comes to punctuality if you're late and you disrespect my time that's it, I'm absolutely fuming. 
Um, for me, that's just the respect. So if the person doesn't respect my time, don't want to deal with them, don't want to have any business with them. Sorry, I'm being so, I'm kind of in the, kind of a, I don't know, maybe my period is coming up. But anyway, I just feel a bit on edge. <laughs> maybe it's not the best time to record this video. But, so, these are kind of the things. If you don't know local people, you wouldn't know how to deal with them in the best way. So, you'll be frustrated. You'd be absolutely pissed every day, angry, you know, the list goes on. So, to book a consultation, press the description, there'll be a link to a Calendly. Press that link, you will see the prices, the current prices. Um, book it. There's four multiple ways to pay. PayPal, Stripe, Revolut, whatever's easier for you, whatever's cheapest for you. And let's have a chat and let me help you to, you know, sort this shit out for you. Things are very, very different in Thailand. It's much, you know, slower pace. So, you know, when you get used to doing things, you know, like three things on the go, you're talking to this person, emailing this person. Yeah, it, it doesn't work like that in Thailand. And um, even Western people who move there, and let's say they live there for a couple of years, they kind of have very similar mentality. So if you're an ambitious individual and you want to build some sort of business, you've got to be prepared for these kind of challenges where people are not going to have the same efficiency. To, they're not going to make decision in, in the fast effective manner you know things will take time and even the simple things where you think god you know this could be decided in like one minute yeah you, you need to understand and manage your expectation that in thailand maybe it's different in bangkok in phuket this is not going to be the case my background is luxury hospitality business development and sort of hr management so when I was in Phuket, I did a lot of charity work just to support local people with their businesses. So um, I'm not going to mention names or anything like that, you know, because I don't want to disrespect anybody. But I was working with this company where I've identified that if they only allocate one, members of, one member of staff per client, which can be done in a very nice manner without adding pressure, blah, blah, blah. They can increase, uh, you know, the capacity by 50% of the clients inside their establishment, which of course, as a result, will drive sale, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And when I proposed it all, explained how it can be done, I can help with staff training because that's what I've done previously, um, you know, they said no. No, I was like, oh, okay. Then I said, so let's have a look at it. Why do you think, do you feel that staff won't be able to, to deal with it? Do you think management, you know, who's going to deal with bookings? Do we need to hire more people? Let's have a look at it, blah, blah. Do we need to uh, run an organization seven days a week instead of five or six? So anyway, but they said, no. They said, no, we don't want this. We want two staff per guest. Okay. So this is just an example where... They just think differently. I'm not saying it's bad, and I don't want you to think that I'm disrespecting a local um, local people. It's not the case at all. You know, if I didn't respect them, I wouldn't be helping them. But this is just an example of things that will be different. Not the same as UK, not the same as USA, not the same as Australia, and you need to adapt to this. I have a lot of practical advice, which I share with my members members of kika club i don't know if you guys know if you've seen it advertised on my channel but i have a membership club which is called kika club welcome to kika club where do you know what i think i've got lost hold on hold on let me find where i am Right, going back to membership, there's three levels of membership and each level uh, contains different kind of perks, you know, level one badges and emojis, you know, access to community tab where I only post um exclusive content for members only you know level two have some unique videos that nobody be able to see and only you guys 
you know, my members would be able to watch level three where I personally respond to your comments. So many, many, many things. So have a look at it. It's the button next to the subscribe button. Press on it and it will tell you exactly what the levels are. And hopefully I will see you an executive kicker club uh, level membership. You need to be aware of scams in Thailand. Something really bad happened to my friend where and I don't know if I should discuss it here or maybe I should move it to my members club only, but I'm going to give you a little bit. Basically, Thai police took her passport for something, okay, which is illegal and were asking her for one million baht. I will continue this topic in, in my membership videos because I can't have these kind of discussions in open videos, unfortunately, um, as I will get in trouble from YouTube. This kind of situation happens quite frequently, quite regularly, so you need to watch out for that. You know, a lot of people go to Thailand um, being very naive, thinking, oh, everyone's smiling, happy days, palm trees, driving on a motorbike, barefoot, thinking they're the dog's bollocks, living their best life, but okay, he's, <laughs> this is not the case. This is, you, you gotta be smart and very resilient, very patient. Yeah, there's a lot of qualities you need to have in order to succeed, unless you have a passive income or some sort of online job, which, you know, generates you sort of $2,000 per month, then you'll, fine, you'll be fine. So uh, yeah, just be smart. Don't trust anybody. Subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos like this. I will continue to post videos that are available to, uh, to everyone to watch. Join my membership for exclusive content and I'll see you very soon.